In March, I traveled to Orissa, an eastern Indian state on the Bay of Bengal. I was not there as a tourist, but as a researcher with a team, trying to understand better how the state collects and uses health information to run their health services. Orissa is beautiful, hot, and rural, known for its tribal cultures and many ancient temples. It houses around 46 million people. However, it's also a relatively poor area with a high disease burden and hard to reach areas. Visiting all levels of the health system, we saw how health workers at the lowest level reach their clients on foot in villages before coming into the closest office to report their data electronically. Health data officers routinely ensured the data was complete and without errors. Coming home, I continued the collaboration with my Indian colleagues. In the beginning of May, our regular meetings were cancelled as a large cyclone was approaching the Bay of Bengal. This area is prone to tropical storms and is hit now and again. But it was clear that this was going to be a severe storm and over one million people were evacuated. On May the 2nd, Cyclone Fani hit Orissa with immense force. We watched it unfold from our office here in Oslo, but kept in touch with colleagues who barricaded their windows and housed neighbors from less solid built houses. It left 64 people dead in Orissa by falling trees and flying debris. Fani caused severe damage on property and infrastructure, and the breakdown of infrastructure is of course a problem for the health services in the region. Communicable diseases such as cholera is now on the rise. Returning to the people I visited in Orissa, it was great to see how their long-standing system for reporting health information now supported the region through these difficult times. My contacts explained that people now report through different mechanisms. They send data with colleagues or call them in via phone. They improvised within a well-established system. And data were actually getting in in spite of very harsh conditions. The health workers in Orissa has continued to report routine data, but also data from new provisional clinics, and very importantly, data on disease outbreaks. Vaccines, human resources, and other crucial supplies are deployed to the places where they need it the most. What happened in Orissa showed me that in times of horrible natural disasters, having data collection, validation and communication routines integrated into daily practice is crucial to minimize damage.